It all began with Reverend Ohali George Insurim having his studies in the United States of America when he received the call of God to save the perishing souls by teaching them to observe all that Christ has taught. Uh, the call of God came upon me uh, in 1980 when I was yet uh, taking my education in the United States of America, in Los Angeles, California. He prayed and meditated for 18 years. Uh, I couldn't actually uh, go to the Bible, spend time to read and so on. And so when the pressure kept on coming to me, I told him that uh, you should look out, look out for other people who are more educated than me in that uh, area, you know. So that was part of what kept me for 18 years that I did not fully answer the call. So after consulting some renowned ministers in the United States, I had to come back to Nigeria. Having little knowledge of what the Lord has told me to do, I now attach myself to a church here that is Redemption Ministry. Of course, when the Lord called me, I saw uh, Pastor Stephen Akiola. Yet when I was in the United States, I have not known him before. So when I came down to Nigeria, I saw him and then I, uh, went to his church, explained a few things about me, but he could not understand exactly what was going on. I also told uh, uh, Willie Bunting about the call. And uh, both of them, they prayed for me. So I was there for some years, uh, um, understanding the, the two ministers. Not quite uh, satisfied with what I have already gotten. Uh, I started seeking for more education. And uh, from there, I met uh, also Dr. Leo Abraham and explain things to him. He asked me to come to his uh, school, his college, Royal uh, Seminary. He took me there, he was so kind. He helped me to understand a few things that I didn't understand before. I also would say that that laid the foundation of what I am now doing. On October 26, 1998, he established CAWEM, an acronym for Christ Ambassadors for World Evangelism and Missions. And in November 1, 1998, CAWEM was commissioned as a missionary outreach. With the vision to facilitate global interagency cooperation, communication, and collaboration to expand the Kingdom of God through world evangelism. This they have achieved with their team of professionals in different spheres of life, visiting places with free clothes, food, medical care. My name is uh, Mrs. Anthony Okapo, the wife of the resident pastor in Mrs. Mulan. I want to appreciate God for six, three days now, Kawe has been with us and they have made this place so hot for us. We are so grateful. They have, today is the end of this program. They have given us their best. We pray that God should strengthen them and provide for them more and open a way for them. They will not die premature. What they have sold in our life, God will be to them in more than in that time. And above all, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Nigeria, Africa, he said to all nations, 
And my prayer is that God will take us to all nations to preach this gospel in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In 2014, with an aim to catch them young for Christ, Kawem started a children Bible club with above 180 registered children and still counting. Everything is successful because the ministry is now expanding. And by this expansion, I count it as a success. But I will also add here that I have not started. Just God is faithful and mighty. Story, story.